Hey everyone, Robin from Backscatter here. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II. This is the flagship Micro Four Thirds camera from Olympus, and it's one of the highest performance cameras we have seen yet. The EM1 Mark II gets a modest megapixel increase from 16 to 20 over the Mark I. Like the Mark I, it does not have an anti-aliasing filter, which helps you get the sharpest image possible. New for the Mark II is the inclusion of two SD card slots, one of which writes to UHS-2 speed SD cards, the other writes to UHS-1. It packs a very fast autofocus system, utilizing a hybrid 121 point cross type sensor. The hybrid system means it detects both contrast and phase detection, while the cross type sensor detects vertical, horizontal, and diagonal contrast for greater autofocus accuracy. In the past, most cameras only had these cross-type autofocus points in the middle of the sensor, whereas the EM1 Mark II has this feature on all 121 autofocus points, so it's extremely fast and accurate. This camera also has a blazing fast frame rate. When using the mechanical shutter, it can shoot 15 frames per second with autofocus locked and 10 frames per second with continuous autofocus engaged. The only camera that shoots faster than that is the Canon 1DX Mark II at 16 frames per second and which carries a $6,000 price tag compared to the $2,000 EM1 Mark II. When using the electronic shutter, this camera can do up to 60 frames per second in RAW with autofocus locked and 18 frames per second with continuous autofocus engaged. This is pretty awesome and makes the EM1 Mark II the fastest shooting camera currently on the market. It also has a virtually unlimited buffer when shooting with a UHS-2 speed SD card in that new UHS-2 card slot. It also utilizes a 5-axis image stabilization system. The stability this provides allows you to shoot up to 5.5 stops slower than if you were not using it. This is a huge benefit for low light operation and could potentially open up new opportunities for handheld macro video when using an accompanying video light. Video footage is going to have that graceful quality of a steady cam, even when the camera is just handheld. We also finally get 4K video out of an OMD camera. The EM1 Mark II will capture 4K at both 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second with a maximum 237 megabit data rate, making this a very capable system for capturing video. Just like the Mark I, the EM1 Mark II has one of our all-time favorite control sets. This thing has a huge level of customization options for button mapping. You can easily assign focus to the AEL-AFL button for thumb operation. The 2x2 switch is also extremely cool because it allows you to quickly and easily change the front and rear command dials from aperture and shutter speed to ISO and white balance, making your four most critical exposure tools available with just the flick of a switch. The new Pro Capture Mode enables up to 14 frames to be captured upon half press of the shutter. This means more opportunities to capture that precise moment when some fast acting interesting behavior is on display. Think of this as the ability to pre-roll, so if you're a split second late on the action, you're actually going to capture 14 frames before your shutter releases. The camera body itself is weather sealed, so it can withstand some water drops and dust. If a few drops of water should hit the camera when you're opening the housing, it certainly is not an instant death sentence. It also uses a new battery and charger, so your Mark I batteries won't be compatible. The PTEP14 underwater housing is the deepest rated Olympus housing to date, allowing you to take it down to 197 feet. It has a shoe mount on top to support a variety of lights or accessories. It'll support fiber optic strobe connectivity through the pair of connectors on front. It has a locking latch for both the main door and the port opening, both of which are really simple to operate. The housing features oversized knobs for easy control even when wearing thick gloves or a dry suit. It has dedicated dials and buttons for all of the essential controls, such as the AEL-AFL button to use the back button thumb focus technique, and easy access to the 2x2 switch. The standard pickup viewfinder does allow full vision of the camera's viewfinder, so composing your images is easy even through a dive mask, or you can easily work off of the LCD screen. Installing the camera is easy too, as there's no camera tray. The body just slides straight in. 
This is great because it means one less critical component to lose or leave behind when packing for a trip. Fortunately, you also have a ton of port options. There's a wide range of Olympus, AOI, and other third-party ports available. There's plenty of support for both domes and flat ports, many of which can also utilize external macro diopters to open up new shooting opportunities. You can shoot with the Olympus or Panasonic 8mm fisheye lens, wide-angle rectilinear zoom lenses such as the Olympus or Panasonic 7-14 lens, and even the Olympus 60mm macro lens, which produces a 1 to 1 reproduction ratio just like an SLR macro lens. All of this boils down to SLR-like performance and lens selections out of a smaller and less expensive system. The bottom line is that this camera raises the bar when it comes to mirrorless and SLR performance. It's got rapid autofocus, blazing fast frame rates up to 60 frames per second, impressive image stabilization of over 5 stops, and high megabit 4K video. The controls are highly customizable and intuitive, and the housing can go deeper than before and is really easy to operate in any diving conditions. At the time of filming this video, our CEO Jim Decker is down in the Cayman Islands putting this thing to the test underwater, so stay tuned for a complete underwater performance review and some killer images and video. Thanks for watching and give us a call or visit us online if you'd like to learn more. Happy shooting!